welcome to my channel IP smart trading in my last video we did uh, successfully completed the exchange server 2019 installation in GUI but now in my this video uh, I have to show you some other options of exchange server installations so you, I think you remember that I told in my last video that uh, the exchange server we can install in uh, the uh, Windows Server Core mode and as well as GUI mode. So in this video is uh, the installations of exchange server in Core mode, when, uh, and we are using Windows Server 2019 Core Edition uh, to install the exchange server 2019 so let's start the lab to install the exchange server 2019 in windows server 2019 code edition so in my uh, scenario i have two machines one active directory is already installed so if you need to install any Active Directory installation, how to install Active Directory, just uh, check the description box. I share you the link how to install Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. So now I just I have a machine that is already Windows Server um, 2019 core already installed over there. So I just log in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So this one is the core. So you can check that the core is installed over here. And say so connect. Uh, So this is my domain controller. Okay. I just set. Uh, I just set. This is how the it will uh, get more understand for you. This is my domain control and this is my uh, exchange server 2019. So this is the step by step guide of exchange server 2019 core installations. So in to install exchange server, this video is first to prerequisite setup for exchange server. So these are the prerequisites. So we need Windows Server 2019 Core Edition. We need Exchange Server 2019. We need Visual C++ 2013 and .NET Framework 4.7.1 Offline Installer. Next, we need two servers to get uh, Exchange Server 2019. One is an Active Directory Domain Controller. Another one is Exchange Server. So in my scenario, this is an Active Directory Domain Controller. And this one is Exchange Server. As Microsoft recommends using the core server to install Exchange 2019, we will use full core setup for this test. Okay, so we are using the core setup for this test. So first we have to set up the core server, then we'll create an active directory on core. Once Active Directory is up then running, uh, we will uh, go the next step to installation configure 2019. Okay, at first we have to set up server name, IP address, 
remote access and join domain this four step must be configured in exchange server at first so first uh, just open sconfig sconfig is the tool where we can uh, use uh, sconfig in a single window we can configure our domain join remote access as well as um, set up an IP address also so I just type s config okay s config is open firstly enable the remote desktop so I just go to here A remote desktop is you uh, uh, is in number 7 so it's a very simple just click 7 press enter here is the option do you want to enable type E to enable remote desktop service here is a two option one is only clients running on the remote desktop with the network level authentication this is more secure and allow clients running any version of remote desktop so I select non secure web because this is my lab environment if we using in a corporate environment that is a f first one first option is the recommended uh, to set up a remote desktop so I see here I select uh, option 2 so remote desktop is configured so next I have to join domain so before join domain I have to provide an IP address okay so how I just go to the network settings is number 8 I just press 8 enter select the network adapter index ID this one index ID index ID is 1 done uh, now provide an IP address set a network adapter address press 1 just press 1 we are using static IP so press S to provide a static IP enter IP address 10.10.10.22 10.10.10.223 this is an IP address subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 .255 .255 .255 uh, this is my subnetted IP or uh, we can uh, use default IP gateway is 10.10.10.1 this is the gateway so 10.2 is the gateway so it sets now set the preferred DNS so preferred DNS uh, number 2 set the DNS I press number 2 to set the DNS. preferred DNS is 10.10.10.222 this is my domain controller IP address see the IP address of domain controller is 222 so that's why I set the DNS address is 222 preferred DNS is also set done next type 4 to main menu now we have to member into the domain ok so before uh, joining the domain I just change the computer name press number 2 to change computer name I provide ex1 to computer name you want to reboot no not right now ok next I have to provide the domain information number 1 join domain yes D for domain join name of the domain MART smartlab.com authorization administrator provide password yeah domain is joined
is restarting. Wait a few seconds. You can see that uh, by its started. I just press Ctrl Alt L. Password. Just config. See the computer name is X1 and it's a uh, member of a domain. We can also see here also. X1 is already the member. Okay, now I just access this machine via remote. Two three connect. See, successfully connected it via remote. Okay, so next step next I have to prepare an active directory okay so before the start installation of 2019 we have to prepare an active directory domain we'll use the following uh, command or uh, following uh, component required for UCMA 4.0 installation so UCMA is the prerequisites for exchange server so so that I provide this command so this command I uh, give you in my command box Let's go to str to start start PowerShell start PowerShell a problem with the command this is taken so now it will install you can see that the dot is uh, this um, bullet is taken in the command that's why it's failed so after installing this we have to prepare schema also I just paste it into the here so and copied it so that I need uh, exchange server 2019 setup to run this command so hardware, CDDVD, I just select exchange server 2019 CU2 update. Okay. Now just I go for the T drive, just TIR. Yeah, this is the exchange server. Drive, just enter. It's preparing action server. It's preparing schema actually. In my previous video, uh, I show you how to check the schema version. You can check uh, my last video for the schema version checking process okay. 
is copying file PDQC analysis is successfully completed and ex extending active directory schema will almost done now 95 four, 5 percent 98 percent yeah it's done successfully next step to prepare the organization name is IT Smart Training yeah you can see that the organization preparation is also done I just set the same command and domains okay this is the command prepare all domains it will take some time to prepare all domain in my infrastructure yeah, this setup is completed successfully the next step uh, here you can see uh, I put some command okay this command is to copy item to a specific path means uh, I you can see some pd which is also required so uh, I what I uh, what is says this document this document says that the pd software at first I copied in into my local system then I install this, uh, that software so uh, what I did what I do actually um, I just change the path I already have the prerequisite software over here I just select it go here I can see DIR you can see the exchange server 2009 prerequisites so I just go to so 2009 prerequisites DIR here you can see that the .NET framework 7.2 and that all those are is here so I just run .NET framework CD .NET framework 7.2 DIR and this one framework 7.2 slider updated already over here so don't need to install this next you have to go to cd backslash dir i have to install visual c++ cd visual cd exchange 2019 
is your C++ DIR here is two file is there one is uh, 64 bit and 32 bit I just install VC 64 bit just agree and install close as well as 32 bit also it's done now the next step is after installing Visual Studio you see a map I already downloaded it. CD dot dot DIR CD Unified DIR is showing please review log files now we have to mount the exchange server ISO just go here uh, exchange server ISO I just mount it here I mounted it now go to the server Start PowerShell D colon DIR. Here you can see here is a folder UCMAR UCMA Redist. So go to that folder. lots of files is here here is the setup.exe just run GUI base installation just click next, accept, install. It is it installed the card component which which is required. And just finish. And done. So the prerequisites installation is done successfully in next video we will install the exchange server so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos thank you